It was a warm, late summer day when it all started. Mr. Shelley had approached Mr. Parker with an idea to see if he was interested. He pitched it, asked if Mr. Parker would like it. Mr. Parker's response was, all right, what is it? Mr. Shelley had no response. Okay. Well, that day, he pitched it to Morgan. Morgan grabbed Tim and Michael and made a quick sign, found a small concealed spot in the corner of the club fair, and that was all she wrote. People quickly signed up, not having a clue what it was. They told them it was like a debate club, and they kept getting this as a response. How's it different from the debate club? Like Mr. Shelley, they had no response. For months, nothing happened. The team received the case booklets, looked over them, drew conclusions, and more or less forgot about them. January came by, and still not much had changed. With the week before the trials were to start, roles were finally assigned, and a practice round was finally ran through. Both teams were having problems. Next week, defense went and kicked ass. There's no way to describe it other than they had a great first time, and yet they had no idea what was going on. Prosecution went next and had a more difficult time. However, that's putting it lightly. Two and a half years have passed since that fateful day in which Mr. Shelley gave us an offer. Much has changed. Number one being, we actually know what we're doing. People have changed. Roles have changed. But the most important thing hasn't. They come to kick ass. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. She tells him she's in church, but she doesn't go. Still, she's on her knees, and Scotty doesn't know. Oh, Scotty doesn't know. So don't tell Scotty. Overnight trip says guys are a hell of fun. It's girls, you just talk about girl shit. Is that right? She's not paying attention. What a bitch. Huh? Huh? I don't know what girls do. Okay, so I you're probably, not a girl? No, I'm not. Don't film me. Don't yeah, film me. Don't so, Fix, what are we doing? Making our food run for my trial. That's what we do every day. Dinner at 3 o'clock. It's kind of weird timing, but it works. Actually, apparently it's 3.42. What happens? Oh We're supposed God, to leave at 3. Huh? What's we up? We have 30 minutes to eat and get ready and stuff. That's going to be pushing it. <laughs> so... We'll be running out of time, but that's normal. That's how we roll on mock trial. He's following us. We have an MCHS pass. <laughs> so we film him. There's the zoom. Dude, my MCTV thing is about to be just like a documentary of like about us before, video. like uh, us during the mock trial. It's not even going to be like. An actual Wait, news are you package. Doing news now, my child? Yeah. No, don't use anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Well, it's not ready. No. She's not dressed up. <laughs> oh my god, we can't use this film. Ah! <laughs> don't use it. Use it. Blackmail her. Just wait till we get the food and then film her. <laughs> oh, Make her carry are you everything. <laughs> See, I got a. Dude, I got a video camera and I never use it. I'm like. I don't know, I just have nothing to film these days. Bus. 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 I shouldn't do anything illegal then. Good for you. <laughs> hey, I'm Mexican, it's hard, okay? Because <laughs> I gave it up for Lent. <laughs> Dude, wouldn't that be hella funny if, like. <laughs> that was on MCTV. He's like building all this sound music too. <laughs> no, like we ask him a bunch of like questions and then we just you just have him answer, hey, I'm Mexican, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about mock trial? Hey, I'm Mexican, it's hard. <laughs> uh, how did you feel your first trial? Hey, I'm Mexican, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is right after we were talking about not using stereotypes and racism in the school with this like. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are ridiculous. You're the, you, you're the one who brought it up. <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna kick you guys out of my car. <laughs> no, please, God. I really don't want to wear this sweatshirt. It's getting fucking hot. Dude, it is getting hella hot in here. Air time. Watch out, if you're gonna get hit by a truck. Oh. What's going on, Fix? We're gonna try to cook. Let's get our first food run, and then we'll probably go head over to Taco Bell. Coming in, we'll, we'll get ours. We got our list here of what food people want. We're gonna go get Taco Bell. Apparently, we're getting Taco Bell first. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So, back to Taco Bell. See, we'll get the tacos, those are easier to carry. Then, we'll get the Chinese food and head back and distribute the food and eat it. 
stuff our faces, calm our nerves, you know, that's how we go. Okay. Cool. Cool. This is the one in her face. Yeah. <laughs> This is me, time I shoot. It's a fun Are you actually going to get something from here? I'm going to get taco. A single taco. You know, being the biggest one of all three of you, I'm actually not that hungry. I'm starving, I'm starving. She's small as well, she's starving. I'm like, I just want food. <laughs> So where are you now, Fix? I'm in China. You're being some authentic Chinese food, you know? You gotta go straight to the border to bring more. Let's go. It's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> she made lemon bars and pinatas. And look how much food she has. Damn, girl. And I just got the burrito and inhaled it. <laughs> So what just happened, Fix? So we just ordered five meals from China. And now we're trying to get out of here after we had to wait about 10 minutes to get some chow mein. Just chow mein, because everyone wanted chow mein. Everyone wants chow mein, man. We had like seven, eight people in line waiting on chow mein. That's a nice charger, dude. I like it. We got a super deep paint job put on the charger. It's pretty sick, actually. Yeah. Look at that. Super B. <laughs> uh, this is us trying to get to the car uh, with five oh meals, God. two drinks, two different restaurants. We hit. It's 4:17, guys. Um, yes. Woo! 4:17. What time are we supposed to be there? Like 4:15. <laughs> uh, call someone. Swole calling us. So, so like know that was hella funny, cause. So I was like, you guys getting food? And you're like, yeah, you know, there's this, this, and this. And I'm like, dude, we can't know more. And you're like, no, you know what? Actually, we can't get you anything. <laughs> oh, let's go with Noemi. Yeah, I don't think Noemi's gonna eat all of it. No, like if I was, if Gary was here, if he got something, I probably wouldn't order anything. Well, Gary's not here, and he didn't order anything. And I love Gary. <laughs> Good. Good Maybe you Gary's should marry him. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Gary's a sweetheart. Cool. I don't know what your problem is with him sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they're legitimate, and they're probably similar to my problems with Lauren. So non-existent, just in your mind? Exactly! Oh, <laughs> Aww, you make me miss Gary. Aww. Aww. We managed to get out of the impossible parking lot. Oh, I know. I hate that parking lot. And we're coming up on Sleepy Hollow Avenue. I hate this car. See that? See that? Do mind not that Tony Stewart. You kill it. I hate Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon's gonna win it again. It's gonna be number five. Number five, baby. Sorry. And this is NASCAR, NASCAR season Tiberish. starts Saturday. Woo! NASCAR, Woo! NASCAR on Saturday. NASCAR. Do you want me to kick you out of my car? <laughs> NASCAR. Did you get that on film? I did get that on film. Woo! You all I'm love NASCAR. The camera. I love NASCAR. What's he gonna do? That's a siren. Hello, ambulance. 